Hello everybody. So we've been doing a lot of science about the wind and how wind moves in our atmosphere. Uh, so we're going to do the reading again because the entire read aloud that we've been doing in little pieces for the last three or four days is actually going to be part of our digital Google assignment today. So I'm going to reread uh, in case you need to look back and watch this video again to find the information to answer your short answer Google form quiz. And here it starts with wind and convection. Kite flying can be a lot of fun if the conditions are right. If the conditions are wrong, kite flying can be boring. What makes conditions right for fl kite flying? Wind. Wind is air in motion. Air is matter. Air has mass and takes up space. When a mass of air is in motion, it can move things around. Wind can blow leaves down the street, lift your hat off your head, or carry a kite high in the sky. Sometimes air is still. Other times the wind is blowing. What causes the wind to blow? What puts the air into motion? The answer is energy. It takes energy to move air. The energy to create wind comes from the sun. Air is particles of nitrogen, oxygen, and a few other gases. The particles are flying around, banging into each other, the land, the ocean. Let's imagine that we are at the beach. It's early morning. The air over the land and the air over the ocean are the, both the same cool temperature. As the sun shines down, on the land, part of the geosphere, and the ocean, part of the hydrosphere, solar energy is absorbed. The land heats up quickly, but the ocean heats up very slowly. By noon, the land is hot, but the ocean is still cool. Earth's surface is heated unevenly. The afternoon wind starts, and here is why. When the air particles bang into the hot surface of the land, energy transfers to those particles. Because of the energy transfer, the air part particles fly around even faster. The air gets hot, the hot air particles bang into each other. That pushes the particles farther and farther apart. Over the ocean, air particles are banging into the cool surface of the water, so the air stays cool. The air particles continue to move at a slower speed. The cool air particles don't hit each other as hard, so they stay closer together. A cubic meter of hot air has fewer particles than a cubic meter of cool air. The hot air is less dense than an equal volume of cool air. The wind starts. You know how that cork floats on water? Cork floats on water because it is less dense than water. If you take a cork to the bottom of the ocean and let it go, it will float to the surface. That's exactly what happens with warm and cold air. Warm air over the land floats upward because it is less dense than cool air over the ocean. The more dense cool air flows into the area where the less dense or warm air uh, is and pushes it upward. The movement of more dense air from the ocean to the warm land is wind. Wind is the movement of more dense air to an area where the air is less dense. There is more of a story of wind. Two things happen at the same time to create wind. The warm air cools as it rises because becoming more dense than the surrounding air. And at the same time, the dense air from the uh, ocean warms up as it flows over the hot land. As a result, air starts moving in a big cycle, circle. Air that is warmed by the hot land moves up and the warm air cools as it moves up, gets more dense and starts to fall. The rising and falling air sets up a big circular air current. The circular current is called the convection current. Ding, 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 ding. As long as the Earth's surface continues to be heated unevenly, the convection current will continue to flow. The part of the convection current that flows across the Earth's surface is what we experience as wind. But what happens at night? The wind changes positions. When the sun goes down, solar energy no longer falls on the land and ocean. The land cools rapidly, but the ocean stays about the same temperature. 
the air over the cool land is no longer heated. The density of the air over the land and ocean is the same. The convection current stops flowing and the wind stops blowing. What will happen if night is really cold? The land will get cold. The air over the land will get cold. The cold air will become more dense um, than that over the ocean. The more dense air will flow from the land to the ocean and the convection current will flow in the opposite direction and the wind will blow from the land to the ocean. And in summary, we have the convection summary. Uneven heating of the Earth's surface by the sun causes uneven heating of the air over the Earth's surface. Uneven heating of air causes wind. Air is less dense. Warm air is less dense than cold air. Cold, dense air flows to the area where the air is warmer and less dense. Less dense. The less dense air is pushed upward. As the warm air moves up, it cools. Cool air is more dense, so it falls back to the earth. The circular pattern of the airflow is called the convection current. Convection currents are important ways that air masses move from place to place in the atmosphere. Convection currents transport energy from place to place. Convection currents produce wind. The greater the difference in temperature between the warm and cold air masses, the harder and the faster the wind will blow. Uneven heating of the Earth's surface is the cause of many weather changes on Earth, including hurricanes, tornadoes, and thunderstorms. And these are the four short answer questions that you will be answering today in your Google form. Thinking about wind. How are convection currents produced in the air? Number two, explain what causes wind. Number three, what happens to air particles when the air is heated? And number four, what is the source of energy that causes the wind to blow? Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you fill these answers out in short, complete sentence responses on Google Form and click Submit. Thank you and have a blessed day.